Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to do a April favorites. Um, it is April 30th. This will probably be up on May 1st. I found a lot of products that I really love this month and I really wanted to share them with you. So let's get started. If you like that, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. If you like me, be sure to subscribe to my channel. If you have something to say, comment down below what you like, what you shouldn't, what you want to see next, and let's get into the video. So I'm going to start with like body products, like whole like body products, and then do skincare and then do makeup. I think that's the best way to tackle this. So to start for body products, I'm going to start with this. So this is the Dr. Bronner's, Bronner's, Bronner's. Pure Castile, Castile Soap. I don't even know how to say it. I just got this recently, like, the other day from TJ Maxx for $15 for this big thing. Like, it's bigger than my head. Like, it's big, huh? Like, it's big, huh? Like, um, this, first of all, it can be used to clean, like, a bunch of things. Like, you use it for your hair, which I don't like to, don't want to do, because that seems, like, damaging. But, like, it says shave, shampoo, shower, bath, mop, laundry, and degrease. Like, what? I mean, I only use it for my body, but, like, we're on a budget out here. It's only $15. Um, I always feel so clean when I'm done using. This is the peppermint one, so I feel, like, really, like, cool. Like, I don't know, it's, like, a cooling effect. I don't know, I really like this product. So, my next one... They all like go, this one and the next one kind of go together. This is the Shea Moisture Olive Oil Ground Coffee Scrub. This was $10, I believe. It smells so much like coffee, because it is coffee, but like, like I love the smell of coffee and it's so moisturizing with the olive oil and it just like, it feels so good before you shave. Like I really exfoliate before I shave and this is so exfoliating. Um, and I get such a close shave and my legs feel so soft. And then I pair it with this, which I hate when this happens. This is the African Black Soap, or black, yeah, African Black Soap Soothing Body Lotion. So it's not soap, but I, <clears throat> I have really, really dry skin, and I also have um, KP, which is like the the strawberry skin, or like some people call it chicken skin, and like I don't know the little dots. I have them all over my legs. This is the only thing I've ever used that it doesn't get them away completely like I can still see them but they're not raised anymore and they're not like red. So before they were like red and I could feel them now when I feel my legs I can't feel them. I could just see the little dots which is the most any lotion has ever done for my KP. So I really recommend this. It has oats, aloe, and vitamin E which is gonna calm the dry skin and the oats help soothe the irritated skin so the next body product is like i don't know is this like tmi i have like my armpits like when they smell like they smell really bad and just like normal deodorant like won't make the smell go away or will make it go away for like 30 minutes and then i'll like walk to the bathroom and then i'll smell again this like degree clinical protection deodorant I like this is so TMI but I don't have to put on deodorant for like two days after this and that never happens for me so this is the best I think it was like $12 which is maybe it was more I don't know I'll put the price right here but like that might be a little pricey for deodorant but I think it's worth it like personally I think it's worth it this Vita Librata I don't know how to say this but it's a self tanning tinted mousse and it's in the color, um, I think it's like dark, yeah. So it's in the color dark. There's not a lot of like self tanners that like work on my skin because obviously I'm already brown and a lot of people who are self tanning are like trying to get like here and like I'm trying to get like further, you know? And like this does it. Like I get this like really pretty like glow to my face. If you can tell, I look a lot tanner and I put it all over my body and like on my face and it's sensitive enough to use on your face and the self like self tanners have like a gross smell and like this one doesn't have it and it's a foam and it's so nice I love this I love this so much especially in these like cold spring rainy times where I'm just ready for summer 
So that's it for face. I'm gonna go into hair really quick. I don't have a lot for hair. I usually have more, I feel like, but I've just been sticking to my like basics, like Jane Carter every day, like I always do. So I only have two hair things today. So the first one is this brush. I think it's called like a boar bristle brush. Um everyone has one of these, obviously. It's not like so like crazy. However, it has like a hard side to like really like slick back in the beginning and then it has like a soft side to kind of make everything really nice and beautiful and like really slick down. Right now is a bad example because this was just a really quick like ponytail. Like this wasn't like the real deal like big pony but like I love this. You can like see the conditioner in it from this morning. Ew. That's disgusting. Smells good though. So my next one is something I was very hesitant about trying because I like the way that like Aussie products have a lot of slip. I feel like that's the main like reason that a lot of curly girls are like drawn to Aussie. However, it does have silicone. That's why it has so much slip. So I was hesitant to try their um, avocado curly girl line, which is, looks like this. It has like a little avocado on it. They have a bunch of different kinds, but they have a new one specifically for curls, which is this. I tried this and I loved it. My hair has felt so soft even after, which I get scared about like silicone products because we don't want like, I don't know, silicone's like bad for your hair. I forget why though. I think because it like makes a barrier around your hair to like and it doesn't allow like moisture to get in but I feel like this is like long term moisturize my hair. Um, even when I have no product in my hair feels so soft after using this almost on a daily basis and I also love the three minute miracle version of this too. Um, I don't have it because I use the rest of it. But this has been one of my favorite products within the last month. And I definitely recommend it because it's only like $5 for this like big thing. Now I'm going to go on to like skincare before I do makeup. So I've talked about this a lot in like previous videos. Right? Yeah. I've talked about this a lot. You guys have probably seen some of these things in my night routine. This pairing of the Warming Under Eye Massager and the e.l.f. Illuminating Eye Cream. These are both e.l.f. products. Together I got them for about $11 because they were on clearance. I'm pretty sure they don't make it anymore, which is so weird. But I have found other warming, vibrating under eye masks. Everything I talk about today, by the way, will be linked down below so you can find all these things as I talk about them. Nothing has made my dark circles go away like this duo has. Like... First of all, it feels amazing and it like warms up and it just feels so good and when I'm done like the puffiness of my eye circles are gone like I could cover up darkness with fucking concealer like I have no issue with darkness. I have an issue when it gets puffy and I can't cover it up because it's like a, a skin texture you know what I'm saying. This makes the puffiness go away. This cream makes the color go away and this makes the puffiness go away. It is such an amazing, 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 amazing duo. I would recommend it to anybody if you can find it. I know they still sell this. I'm just not sure about the this little finger. Doesn't that look like a finger? So annoying. So next for skincare, I'm so happy I found this. This is one of the priciest things that I have on this list. But I would still recommend it to anybody. It is definitely worth splurging on. So this is the Purity Face Wash. It is kind of small. You can get a really big one for not much more. But I got the small one because I wasn't sure if I would like it. So this face wash has gotten my skin so clean. If you've watched my videos before, you know I've always used the T-Zone by... Um, Face scrub by Soap and Glory, swore by this. This is so much more sensitive on my skin. It feels so much better and my face feels so clean after it gets all the makeup off my face. I love this product. I think it's about $25 for this little thing. However, you can get one that's like this big and like thick for $36 and that's definitely way more worth it obviously because it's like more than double this product. 
I would definitely recommend splurging on this. My face has never felt cleaner. My face has never been clearer. I love this product and I would recommend it to anybody who can afford to splurge a little tiny bit. This is my Clarisonic Spin Brush. Right now it has the sensitive skin head on it. I use this every single night before I go to bed. I don't feel like I have all my makeup off until I use my spin brush. It stays on for about one minute and it like vibrates like this. It gets my skin so clean so fast and paired with this like you cannot touch me like I am unstoppable this is my favorite 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 duo for cleaning my face so lastly um, I have some facial products um, like makeup um, I've been definitely keeping it subtle with the makeup lately just like tinted moisturizer y'all know that the bare minerals complexion rescue tinted like gel whatever has always been my favorite tinted moisturizer but i i have been shown something else like something amazing something wonderful someone who speaks to me someone who listens i love this product this is the first aid beauty tinted Mo moisturizer ultra repair spf 30 safe for sensitive skin no artificial fragrance like I love this product it has a super light coverage as you can see like my skin isn't like cakey looking it looks very glowy very dewy I got like a color darker because I didn't want to have to buy a new one when summer came but it works so nice it gives you like a nice skin evening finish it feels so pretty it feels so light um, SPF everyone needs SPF in their life I don't care if it's summer winter spring or fall you need SPF in your life all the time because we don't want wrinkly skin out here we're trying to stay fresh faced forever period this lip gloss it is the pillow plump XXL sexy mother pucker I've talked about this in the past that was the XL this is the XXL like I this is for like the girl that like can't afford Juvederm like we can't afford injections right now like we need a fire ass lip plump this shit makes your lips burn I don't care what anyone says the best lip plumpers make your lips burn so I put it on before I like do my makeup and then just like put it all over and then you give it like I give it like a few like a minute or so and then my lips start to get like huge and I love it um it has a little bit of sparkle in it yeah it's already starting to tingle up here and I could see a little bit of plumpness happening in the middle literally it's like you got like stung by a bee in your lips but like in a good way um lastly but not least I think I took a while to like sit down and like figure out whether I've talked about this product or not and I think I have but I'm also not 100% sure but if I've talked about it twice that just means it's like the best. The Benefit Roller Lash Mascara has been always will be and fucking is the best mascara in this entire world. It has such a great formula that's not clumpy. It's not like like drippy like it doesn't drip all over the place. Is that the word drippy? and it's just so nice and it has like the nicest like oh I'm a beauty guru like curved wand focus not on me on this look at that curved wand and it's so nice I, I love this mascara they also just came out with an eyeliner and a bitch needs to dry it because I'm obsessed um this is the morphe setting spray this shit is crack also y'all y'all see my lips they're plumb like it's big huh okay this morphe setting spray is so nice if you haven't seen my video yet of me talking about it it is so amazing it has such a you know when you spray like all nighter and it like doesn't set like it you get like big like globs of like setting spray on your face this will never do that it always will have like a super super fine mist and it's an aerosol can so it will keep spraying 
like as long as you hold it down it also smells really good i think it smells like a man like man's cologne all right i keep saying last but not least and then forgetting i have another product so i did a whole video on this product i'm pretty sure these came out this month if they didn't i'm so sorry but the Jeffree Star brush set. I love this. I love the handle. They're cute, but I've also had really cute handles that like either are too slippery, they don't have enough grip, or like, I don't know. I feel like there's always an issue with the handle unless they're like really basic, but these are really pretty. They have a great like, as I like almost drop it, they have a great grip. They feel really good in your hand. The, I would say my favorite three, I'll give myself three to be my favorites, are in the, it's funny because my favorites are usually like eye brushes, but these face brushes are astounding. I love the highlight. I've never had a highlight brush like this. I've always used fan brushes, which I've hated, but I never know what to use otherwise. This one is so nice. It makes my highlight look so good, as y'all can tell. <laughs> um, and then I have this foundation brush, which is so nice. It has this little like domey like head to it. It doesn't absorb a lot of my product. It makes everything really nice. I've had issues with brushes in the past making my foundation streaky. This, this will never do that to you. I love this brush. And it's so pretty. Like, you cannot ignore how pretty these brushes are. Like, are you kidding? And I think that's it. Y'all, if you like this video and you like seeing me do monthly favorites, I love doing them. Let me know and I will give you a May one you already know subscribe to this channel i post videos multiple times a week so you can see me and turn on your post notifications so you can see every time i post like this video give it a big old thumbs up it, i appreciate it so much if you're watching still thank you so much for staying through the whole thing and i will see you guys next time with another video peace